What's happening? What's happening, everybody? Coming to you real quick. I'm gonna do a quick video on setting up your pilot car. So, to kick things off. Just a quick rundown. Nissan Murano here is what I use right now. Um, so, two things that if you <laughs> if you care, uh, you're gonna have chips in your windshield. You're gonna have chips in your windshield because. 18 wheelers and the big tires throw rocks all day and as they throw rocks you will see this type of stuff happening to your hood as well um, This is 2016 so definitely uh, been rolling quite a long time got 223,000 miles on it Rolling like a champ. I change the oil. I do the brakes. I do the whole maintenance everything on it. So that's the way it goes um, so you see uh, here just quick that's for a short antenna. Uh, I don't have that one connected now because I upgraded. Um, antennas are everything with your CB radio. Antennas are everything. Uh, got a little wheel there. The um, 300 plus watt antenna. And of course, there's your long range for that. Uh, flags here. I uh, got a whole set up. I keep my my boots back here, my flags, uh, stop sign, the whole nine fire extinguisher. So uh, that's typical setup. Uh, as you see, uh, there's a rear view camera. I got some lights connected here in the back. I keep my vest up front. Uh, going to the um, neon, the neon yellow, neon orange, neon yellow basically is gonna be the new thing since all your flags and everything else is orange. So what I'm gonna do is uh, crank this up pull things out let y'all know how it is uh since i'm back here let me go ahead and do the flags first um uh, front facing camera up here as well um uh, so uh i tend i've lost flags so i'm gonna show y'all a couple different options there as you see i keep the light in the back uh that's what this vehicle is used for so everything you see in this vehicle is for your pilot car so i created um i took the vulcan flags and this is one thing that happens when it comes to the to the flags but like i say we're gonna do this right quick uh this is the best option i believe on your flags um is to put them on the windows um they still will angle out so that's a good thing and you don't stand the chance of losing them because they are inside of the windows so as you see there from inside as you see right here, I'm gonna show you uh, what does that. I got a different flag option, uh, the steel version. Um, these, like I say, are the Vulcans. These are, um, I had them, they were on the wooden poles, but I changed them out and put them on these, um, put them on these plastic poles to go on your window. Um, I did, um, there's uh, staples in them there and some super glue to, for, you know, Make sure they're sturdy and healthy and will last, like I say. So I come in, and this will be the next thing. Um, light bar on top. Light bar on top there. Um, I don't trust these magnets, y'all, because my light has flown off the top before. Uh, not this big one, a little smaller one. Uh, these magnets seem to be pretty sturdy as you can see i'm pulling on it but uh it was a high wind day so i do have bungee cords attached that i connect on the inside there for that um let's see let me move that wire there uh what i always do is make sure this wire goes through the back door as you can see so it trickles down just down the side and you can't see where it runs but i got a power bank down there uh of course got the uh extras and there's your light on top so that part's done uh let's see next thing like i say let me set these flags to the side next thing would be me putting up the wick here uh, i'm in the garage so it's not gonna go but um just attaching my wick here inside a little wheel for that i definitely have my gloves on for all those things so i got ones i got cones i got the whole nine inside of here um back here 
my um and i'm doing this one hand so yeah just bear with me i'm not gonna put these on but i'm gonna stretch it out so you can see the typical flags this entire uh setup uh was done on amazon but this is uh my oversized load sign that i attached to the to the back once i let the rear gate down uh these lights oh uh, yeah you can see they're already on no so i got a switch down in here boom so i turn those on so i'm gonna let those down so you can see how that goes so that's your make sure you got your antenna in you're good to go uh cb radio i got going here on the inside i got it tucked away um it's not about your radio guys it's about your antenna uh, i've been doing this for more than a year now and it's about your antenna not about the radio uh early on it was i had the smaller antenna and it was based on on that so what i noticed was that a lot of the guys have the smaller cobra radio that's what i have uh road king is also a good radio as you see i got the um front view camera there in the back you see the lights and up top the rear view camera keep my vest it's always on uh keep my log book on the front seat as you see that's that with your um with your handheld mic um road king has a bluetooth a lot of other companies have bluetooth but uh there's a lot of different ways you can do this but um yeah that's pretty much it you jump out like i say you throw your sign on the front sign on the back got your lights and flags and you're ready to control the traffic because that's what you do all right if you got any questions any comments any concerns definitely let me know and i can answer any questions for you it's pretty cut and dry pretty simple um your bungees uh you have bungees on these oversized load signs these run by 65 on amazon so uh, you got a top and a bottom for each side. The top, I use the clip up high so that it'll clear my license plate in the bottom right here to the rear mud flap. Front is pretty much the same. You got a little flap down there. Then you go to the inside of your uh, fender panel there. That's pretty much it. Like I say, this was the old short, short range uh, antenna before I made this completely the official pilot car video i mean vehicle this the money machine y'all this is what i do this is how it's done so that's that lights camera action again if you got questions comments concerns that's what that is i was going to show you guys this one other thing let me show you this last thing before i let you go uh i always keep gloves keep your hands clean you know what i'm saying got hand sanitizer the whole nine uh these are the mesh flags y'all uh real heavy duty real heavy duty here so this is that that spot on the inside i was telling you about that will uh so that spot there so when i put this in the window uh, of course i gotta have uh some cushion there because it'll go on there like that so it will hit against that window uh very flexible love these flags i'm gonna test the the new ones out there just the vulcans um I got those with the uh, with the centers around them, with the uh, grip around them, as opposed to just your regular Vulcan flags. Uh, they tear up quick. This um, this vinyl tears up quick. The mesh lasts. Um, and rocking those, they they last a little longer, a little better, a little more heavy duty, especially with the flag. Um, yeah, we got first aid kits, wands, batteries, more flags for your truckers a hard hat uh the whole nine uh light glow sticks um uh flares i got led flares in there like i say regular flashlights got your wands the whole nine so um hadn't had to use any of this outside of my normal setup uh what you what you see me have on the vehicle um and that's a blessing um you don't want breakdowns you want everything to go smooth uh, i definitely use the stop sign and the slow sign you know what i'm saying uh some of you may be flaggers whatever the case may be but this is what we got this is how we get down cj3 transport llc
Pilot Car Services. Ready to rock and roll at all times.